All right, guys, welcome back. This is the second case study in the CPA Networks, uh, CPA Marketing module. Uh, this is a site called uh, RageTheGame.com. This is a uh, an affiliate site that I created back in um, around June or July of, of 2011. So the goal of this website was to capitalize on the uh, influx in, ser in searches for people searching for um, for this game, uh, Rage, which uh, some of you may have heard about. Um, There's some, some, a lot of promotion and buzz uh, back when it launched or when it um, came out in September. So what I did was I created a niche site around Rage the Game. Um, I acted early enough where I was able to get the domain RageTheGame.com, uh, which got a lot of exact match searches just for people searching for Rage the Game. And uh, I'm just going to kind of break down what my thought process was before I even started to create the site. So um, the first thing I did was I went over to, um, I just went over to GameStop actually is where I started. And um, what they do have, they have an area for upcoming games. And if I remember where it was, I will show you that. Upcoming video games down here at the bottom. So you'll be able to see exactly when these games are coming out. So odds are for all most of these games, there's going to be a lot of buzz and people searching for these games when they come out or right before they come out to maybe pre-order them. So that's exactly what I did. I found a game that I wanted to promote um, and you know I, I waited, I don't know, I, start, or I started promoting it maybe two or three months before the game actually came out and I built, you know, I just optimized it for search. Um, so like if I was doing that same concept now, I see like Max Payne 3 that's coming out in March. Um, that may be a game that I want to, you know, buy an exact match domain for, build a blog around it, um, add some, some optimized content to it, and try to rank well for Max Payne 3 or other relevant terms. Okay, so that's the concept that I use for um, Rage of the Game. Now, after I found the game that I wanted, um, I, I found the RageTheGame.com uh, domain name available, so I bought that. Um, but before I bought it, I went over to Google, key, the keyword tool, and I put in Rage the Game. And you'll see um, how much search volume there was. And at the time, there wasn't as much search volume because it was still very early, but there was a significant amount of search volume. Um, you'll see here for Rage the Game, um, there's 165,000 searches. Um, low competition, so there's a, there's a good amount of search. Um, and even if I put this on exact match, there's still going to be um, a fair amount of. Okay, so now exact match is much more accurate. So you'll see people searching exactly raise the game. There's almost 3,000 searches. So that's a good amount of search volume, um, especially for just that one phrase alone. Now you'll see lots of other terms like Rage P, um, PS3 game, um, Rage PC game. Um, I'm sure there's one for Xbox somewhere. Um, so there's, I mean, there are a lot of people talking about this game. And um, if we also go to Google Trends and put in Rage the game, you'll notice that you know people start talking about it a little bit more in, in 2009, 2010, and then when it actually launched in 2012, there was this huge, huge spike in search volume, um, just because of all the TV ads that were running and all the promotions that they had at the game stores, uh, a lot of people went online and searched for it and purchased it. So I was able to position uh, myself with this website, um, not only f to, to actually buy the game, um, buying it on, on GameStop or you know Amazon or wherever else they sell it, but then also um, it correlates with my CPA marketing. So you'll see here I have an ad for GameStop. Um, and if you click on that, and oh, I'm sorry, this was the here it is. So you can get you know get an Xbox 360 and 4,000 points uh, game card for free. So this was one of the CPA offers I had. So here's a nice landing page. This was a zip submit. Um, I forgot exactly how much I got. I think it was like a buck sixty per um, um, per submit. But as you, as you can see, anyone that's coming to um, my website is obviously um, is uh, this is an, a relevant offer. You know, people are who wouldn't want an Xbox 360 so they can play Rage the Game. So I put it there. I also put it on some of the individual blog posts. Um, right here as well at the end. So, you know, I've monetized this site in a few different ways. I've done it through 
um, through people just clicking on these different images and, and you know these links throughout the site but then also I, I embedded some CPA banners that they can click and you know this one's the the fifty dollar um, this one's a little bit different I think yeah so this one's a little bit different I did two different offers um, and this was just a fifty dollar GameStop gift card um, so both extremely relevant to the audience um, and so when I was building the site out, you'll notice that the, the blog content is tailored uh, very specific to what people are searching for. So people were searching for Rage for PlayStation 3 or PS3. So I wrote a blog post about that and uh, had, you know, got it ranked in the search engines. Rage for PC, Rage, people were searching Rage trailers, Rage screenshots, Rage preview, Rage for Xbox 360, Rage release date. So, you know, pre-order Rage of the Game. So all of these different, so I created blog posts on each of these different search phrases that people were searching for. And they all were ranking very well, um, especially, you know, right as the, um, as the, the game was coming out. There weren't a lot of affiliates um, promoting this site um, or this game. Uh, you know, now the site's been out um, for a while. You know, more affiliates have come on board and started promoting it. So the landscape's a little bit different than when I started. But... Nevertheless, I was I, I was able to get a lot of income just off of CPA offers and um, off of um, you know Amazon and and, um, and GameStop just from people purchasing the game through my website. So this is just one you know one example of a site that I created. I mean I have lots of um, and you know just like you saw the um, the healthcare site as well. Um, but you can see how CPA marketing can just be one kind of aspect of your monetization strategy. It doesn't necessarily need to be your whole strategy, but this is how I utilize CPA marketing in one of my optimized blogs. Okay, I'll see you guys um, in the next module.